Three cheers for the first of class. Hip, hip. Computer-guided lasers make the initial cut into a huge sheet of steel that will form Unit 6 of the offshore patrol vessel. When the vessel is finished in 2017, she'll be known as HMS Forth and she'll be capable of deployment both around the UK and around the world. These ships have evolved from the river-class patrol vessels. They're faster, more efficient and flexible. Capable of a range of over 5,000 miles, they could be used in the fight against terrorism, piracy and smuggling. They have a, a big helicopter deck, which makes them much more flexible for the tasks that we use them for. And those tasks are fishery protection, oil and gas, protecting UK waters and British overseas territories. It's a vital contract for the BAE yards at Govan and Scotston, ensuring the skills that have kept work here for 200 years are developed for the future and ensuring that most, if not all, the jobs here are secure. We've got a fantastic workforce here in Glasgow and they're always bringing new ideas and new ways of working. So we're embracing new technology, new working patterns, things that you've seen here today with regards to just the way that we design and construct warships are brand new technologies, really taking Glasgow shipbuilding into the next decade. I think everyone has had a bit of worry that we're going to lose our jobs, but see, seeing this today has given us a bit of confidence that we're going to have our jobs in the future. This wasn't a particularly spectacular event here for the workers looking on this morning, but it was hugely significant, symbolising guaranteed work for more than 800 people here and at Scotston for the foreseeable future. Sally McNair reporting Scotland in Glasgow.